Yeah, it is. Just did a bigger press press workout just then, so save some time for you. Don't worry about that. Oh, though. thanks very much, David. Now, less than two weeks to go now. I mean, Tyson Fury has said you're going to need all the preparation you can get. But how are your preparations going down there? Yeah, good. Very, very good. It's been very tough, very grueling. Um, it's probably one, been one of the hardest training camps I've um, had to endure. Um, I've made sure I've had top quality sparring partners pushing me to the limit. You know, every session really, really putting it on me, landing big bombs. Um, but I'm still standing. I'm still ready to go. And um, I, I definitely think uh, Dyson Fury, if he somehow manages to get through the set of the first round, he's getting knocked out in the second round. You know, rarely do I make sort of uh, predictions this far out from a fight. I normally I leave it day of the fight, the way into when I look into the eyes. But I just can't see Tyson Fury going into the third round. He's getting knocked out pretty fast, pretty quick. Just going back to your sparring, you said you've been pushed uh, to the limit. What have you been doing differently? Yeah. Is there anything that's been changed this time around? Um, I said to Adam Booth, my coach, I said, he said, what are we going to do for sparring? I said, <laughs> a bit stupidly, I said, I want the best possible sparring. I said, I want the toughest, the biggest, toughest, strongest guys. And Adam said, you sure? I said, yeah, bring them in. So he brought in Devontae Wilder, who's 20 nine fights, 29 wins, 29 knockouts, you know, now he'll be world champion one day and he's been landing some big bombs on me. It's been real tough. You know, Marius Vack, another big man mountain, one of the toughest guys I've ever been in the ring with. You know, Richard Tower, switch hitting awkward guys. We had real good, young, strong guys pushing me every day. They'd like doing two or three rounds each. So I'm staying in there and they're probably doing 10, 12 rounds. It's been very, very tough. But come fight night, you know, Tyson Fury is uh, going to be in a world of trouble. You know, uh, Sky Box Office is, it's going to be worth, worth paying the money, believe me. I bet it will be. Now, uh, David, just have a listen to this. This is what Tyson Fury told us earlier this week. So I hope they've been training him really hard and preparing him well because he's going to need it, you know. He's, um, it's, everything's against him. He's, his age, his size, his speed, everything. It's, a, it's, all, all, it's an uphill battle from round one. So he's going to need all the preparation he can get. Did you hear that, David? What, what did you make of that? Uh, he's he, he's lost. He's he's reaching. He's really reaching. Speed. Well, I'm the fastest heavyweight on the on the planet. You know, I've, I've taken the biggest shots and the biggest guys. My chin's good. Nothing wrong with my age. I'm I'm 32 years old. You know, that's not old. You know, I'm not as old, it's not as young and young as him. But he's green. He's never. In, in my 32 years, I was world champion while he was still an amateur. That's the difference between. It. I've been at the highest level for for a long, long time. This is his first. This is his first step up and he's going to get um, checked pretty quick. And um, I'm looking forward to it because everyone's excited about this fight. Everybody wants to see an explosive heavyweight contest. And this is, what, is this what this one brings? You know, so I can see the finishing line. I can see I can't wait to get in there and rip this poor young lad's head off. <laughs> you said young lad. I mean, he's 25. He, he <laughs> says he's got youth and hunger on his side. Is that a problem? He's, he's got hunger. Look at his gut. Look at his... Clearly, he's got hunger issues because if you look at his stomach, it's not a six-pack in sight. It's just pure rolls. And, you know, any type of 25-year-old athlete, he should be in the prime of his life. Look at him, he's, he's an absolute state. What about, his, what about his height? Any height issues? I mean, six foot nine, David. Uh, he, how have you been he's preparing he's, for that? Okay, okay. Put, put. Right, Tyson Fury is six foot nine. I fought and beat the biggest heavyweight champion in history, Nikolai Valiev, who was seven foot two. So height isn't an issue. You know, I've brought big guys in who are the same size, same dimensions, even bigger than him into training camp, and I've done okay. So come fight night, it doesn't matter. He's going to be flat out on the canvas, and um, my hand will be raised at the end of the night.